Hello folks, here is the Data Meister again. And uh, as promised, I'm back today. Today is Sunday, November 3rd. Um, by the way, just uh, two days ahead of the election. Um, so November 5th on Tuesday, um, well, we are going to have the great vote uh, between the two very well-known candidates, uh, Kamala and uh, Donald Trump. Right? But uh, today I would like to uh, make a little trip with you. And for that, we are looking into uh, geography a little bit. So uh, I am the data meister. I'm looking at the screen here. I'm in the United States. And as you know, I live in Michigan. That's where this little blue dot is. It's not Home Depot. Let's zoom on a little bit. We are getting into Michigan closer and closer and closer. Right, and uh, basically that is a place. Yeah, that is my home. And uh, as you already uh, saw yesterday, it's pretty nice. There are some lakes and there are even more lakes uh, if you go a little bit up north. Really uh, picturesque and partially also a um, very expensive area if you want to buy real estate there. So, and uh, let's, uh, let's look at it maybe uh, without uh, the satellite view. So uh, here's our home. Here is the 15 mile or Maple Road, which uh, uh, heads into Telegraph Road, the, the, the north-south um, connection. And uh, this, is, this is our headquarter here at uh, 2977 Telegraph Road, the Data Meister Studio. Right? And, and we then went yesterday, we went then down south to Detroit. Um, you also see when you look at it, I was talking about a wagon wheel. So this is Woodward Avenue. This is a long street, Michigan one. But you have a couple of other streets um, just starting from campus marshes. So you have uh, um, Fort Street, you have Michigan Avenue, you have Grand River Avenue, uh, which is actually going until the Grand River. So it's these are pretty long streets, actually. Um, this is uh, Woodward, as I said. This is Grishit, which also passes by the Eastern Market. And uh, then uh, last but not least, you have uh, uh, Jefferson Avenue, which goes all along uh, the river. Um, and also, uh, well, you, you get into a very nice area here directly at uh, one of the smaller Great Lakes, the Lake St. Clair, right? And uh, um, today um, we are Heading uh, a, a little bit up north, as I said, into the thump. Why, why is it called the thump? Just look at the shape of Michigan. It, it looks, at least this southern part, and there's the other, the northern part. It looks like a hand, right? So you, know, you have uh, the four fingers, but you also have the thump here. It's uh, bordered by uh, uh, Ohio, by Indiana, and also Illinois is very close by. And here on that side, you have um, Ontario, you have Canada already, as I said, we are the only place who can say that, that we are north of Canada. So, and today we are going to make a trip overland so that you also have an impression of how it looks like outside of the um, urbanized or urbanized areas of Detroit, uh, when it gets very rural, uh, lots of uh, farming, um, and nice little towns and we will pass by uh, a couple of these over this um, over this route which will finally end up at the Lake Huron uh, at a nice little town called Lexington. So we are on our way. We are here at the outskirts of uh, the Detroit metropolitan area. Here's a Ford plant, you know, the last industrial facilities and then things will get a little bit more rural. I will talk about that in the next shot. Yeah, now we are already more on a rural road. You see it's uh, the, the fall is coming to its end. A couple of weeks ago we had very beautiful colors everywhere, the so-called Indian summer. But now all, almost all the leaves have gone and winter is coming soon. Now we are crossing now 34 mile road. So we are at the outskirts 
of the Detroit suburbs. Uh, you still see a couple of yard signs here. You will probably see more yard signs for Trump than you are going to see for Kamala here. And the more you uh, go into the rural regions of this country, right, the fewer people are here who go Trump 2024. The fewer Democrats uh, you will find. It's, well, it's also one of the divides which we are seeing here. So uh, around about an hour until we are getting there where we want to get. Yeah, this is uh, one of the traditions which you find here in Michigan, the, the cider mills and the farmers market, rural markets here. So actually quite well visited as you see. We are here on the one, one, of, one of the main highways, the I-69, crossing Michigan from east to west. And you see one specific thing which you don't see a lot in the United States. We have a speed limit of 75. The general speed limits on uh, most interstates or motorways or autobahn, as they would call it, is uh, usually 70. There are some, some spots in Texas where you can also drive up to 85, 85 miles an hour, which is uh, close to almost uh, around 140 kilometers an hour. So uh, here we can go a little bit faster. So now we are at a dirt road here in the middle, almost in the middle of nowhere. Uh, again, pretty, pretty rural here. Only a few people are living here. village of Lexington, Michigan. Oh, they even have a theater here and some nice shops and restaurants. And then front um, you see the lake. So we are here directly located at the Lake Huron, one of the Great Lakes. So here we are at our destination Windyama. Ah, oh, here is a nice fellow left over from Halloween. <laughs> beaches here. So folks, uh, this is it for today with the Data Meister. Tomorrow I'm going to tell you how to migrate into the United States, how I came in here and uh, how any one of you can come in here, legally of course.